minutes, brother. Well, uh, first off, Andy's really got a good team. I, mean, I thought their team really came in here playing well, and he's done a good job keeping that team in position. And those, you know, Warren and Graham's been two players that's really stepped up for him. So we knew how difficult a game was going to be. Uh, out of respect for how Ole Miss has played and what they've been doing, so. I'm awful proud of the way our kids stepped up and responded. I thought the first half we were we were uh, um, a little uptight. We missed a lot of shot, dropped a lot of easy passes around that rim, and just didn't attack as well. In the second half, we didn't get no halftime stats. Some of you guys did. Y'all get them. Did. So I don't know what the halftime stats was, but when you look at the stats at the end, a couple stats really stand out for you. It's 21 assists and 10 turnovers. That's a huge stat. And your two starting guards. Have six, 16 assists and zero turnovers between D and Riley. Those stats will help you win most nights. The area that I thought allowed them to hang around, we didn't do a very good job in, was, was, was second chance points. I think they got 20 of their 20 of their 58 58 points on offensive rebounds. But besides that, off the power kids, thought they stepped up and played, and uh, everybody that played added to. Questions. Sydney's play, I mean, something about Ole Miss he does well against. Well, uh, you know, Brad, that's, you know, he had, had some good stats today, 22 and 12. Uh, I feel what it was first time, but um, thought he got his, thought the second half, I uh, thought he pushed through a little bit. thought there was a couple of times when he pushed through his, his gate that he's in or, or some fatigue and made some plays for us. And caught and finished around that real first half, there's way too much finesse stuff. Everything was at six and eight foot. Uh, second half, there was a whole lot of whole lot of shots got to the rim. He played to the rim the second half, and that was a difference. I thought, and one of our keys were we wanted to attack the rim on a pass and dribble and get that foul line. And we got to that, we got to the bonus and got to the double bonus, you know, pretty quick. And uh, second half, you know, we shoot 16 free throws to third two, and that's a huge step. More so than most games, it seems like. Every series began with a post player touching the ball at least once or twice. Was that the goal tonight? Well, we wanted to attack him. You go ahead and sneeze, Wayne. It's all right, man. <laughs> Wayne sneeze. Um, our goal was to attack him inside. I didn't think we did a very good job the first half, really. Uh, I thought Sid, again, was too much in that um, no man's land. You know, too much six and eight foot stuff. Second half, I thought he attacked the rim more, played to that rim. And he finished more plays the second half. But you know, uh, that was our, we wanted to throw it to the post, we wanted to drive it in there. You know, and D, D didn't have one of his better scoring games. Probably his lowest games he's had all year long. But the thing about D no one knew about was uh, he, he literally hadn't practiced until this game. Uh, he had a tweak hamstring at Kentucky and literally hadn't practiced whatever Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So, whether that has anything to do with his. Stats not scoring as much, I don't know. But as I just told him, I thought he still he had a great floor game, and he was very, very good defensively again. Warren was 4 for 14. And, again, that's an area of toughness. You feel like Rayburn had his best? Oh, Rayburn was very consistent for us. It's coming back. I didn't think he took a lot of bad shots. Uh, I didn't think he uh, tried to do things out of the flow of the game. And, you know, I went with him a lot in that second half because, hey, he, he's a senior and he understands what this game's about. Um, again, I don't know what his, how many minutes he had the first half, but that second half, I don't know if he ever came out once I put him in. Because he's a guy that you want to step up as a senior. And again, he understands what the old Miss Mississippi, Mississippi State game's about. I thought he played big for us. 15 2 run, and Riley, I think, had eight of those points. I mean, you know, to get that kind of production out of him. Well, you know, that's what you need. Plus. That's what you need from a senior. You know, knocked in those two threes with the free throw line. And again, he's got a great, great stat line. You know, six rebounds, eight points, seven assists, no turnovers in 37 minutes. That's a really good stat line. And also, defended. I mean, he defended whoever he had. It was Graham or Gaskins, any of those cats. Uh, they didn't beat him very often. Pretty good job by your guards defensively. I know you talked about it a little bit, but especially the guards today. I thought we did this, Brandon. You know, I thought we, we got a lot of rest for DeBost today. Which is kind of unusual for us. You know, you got one minute, he rested one minute against Kentucky, and that's a killer. He just can't do it. And, it. and it makes him turn the ball over too many times late in that game or miss shots. And 
we had planned to go in this game and give him more rest, and it worked out. We was able to do that because Brian Bryant came in and kind of steadied us up. Uh, he gave us nine minutes, and those nine minutes are huge. Um, to give D some rest up. It helps him helps him defensively down that stretch too. How do you feel after the game? Did you get to talk to him? You said he maybe fit to talk to D. 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 Yeah. yeah, D's fine. He's good. I mean, he's he played well, 31 minutes and he fought through it, and pushed through it. Was he as did he have his rhythm maybe on that shot as much as he has had? Maybe not. Uh, didn't finish some plays, but again, hey, uh, he competed and you know and played hard for us. Rick, is it fair to say that Sydney ran the floor and was more active on defense than he has been? I mean, just I'm looking at the block and then the, the layup he got one. <coughs> yeah. Well, you know, it, um, there was moments. There was a moment you saw all that. Uh, absolutely. Uh, it was probably more minutes of it than you've seen consistently. Yes. Is it where it needs to be consistently for the amount of minutes you, that you need him in there playing and the amount of minutes you need? No, but it, but I understand it, it, it's, 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 a, it's a process. It's a process with him. And, you know, today I thought he took another step in the right direction, doing some things. Um, and, you know, he's not perfect by no means. Nothing's perfect with him. But he's making some progress. And it's, it doesn't happen overnight. It doesn't happen when we all want it to happen. And I know he's taking a, taking a pretty good beating, but, you know, it's okay. You know, hey, like I told him, you, you can't worry about things you can't control. Just worry about, worry about the things they've talked about from a standpoint Go between those lines and change them. And let your game do the talking between the lines. That's what you're in control of. You don't worry about everything else. And, you know, I understand that he has, it's a, it's a long process for him. And most important, I understand where he came from and where he was at. And to see him make some pro progress now is a positive thing for him. And I'm glad he had a positive thing happen for him today. See, he, he kind of was able, able to shake off all the criticism after the time. I think it was, yeah, I, yeah, I think he's, he's been shot full of holes as much, me and him both. That, hey, they can just keep shooting, and I don't think he bothers anymore. I mean, because he's taking about as much beating as he can take. But again, don't worry about things you can't control. If you want to change it, you're in control of all those things they talk about. Everyone, you're in, you're in charge of them. You're in control of them. We're going to be able to talk to Sid soon. I saw him talking to TV. Yeah, I know he talked there, but you know, he's, we'll see if he does for years or well. I don't know. He don't, he's not, you know, he's not, you know, he doesn't want to talk, number one. And number two, I mean, he doesn't need to talk right now. He doesn't need to answer questions that you guys, everybody's talked about. And again, he's not going to win the war in here, okay? He's not going to try to. He just needs to keep playing between those lines and keep getting better there. At some point, when we feel like he's mature enough and can handle all that stuff, we'll let him talk. Why do you think he was able to talk to TV today? I don't know. We just let him talk. It just happened. You ever, just consider, happened. ever consider a pull reporter to go and talk to him? Just a who? A pull reporter. What's a pull one, reporter? A pull reporter to go in, the one guy go in there and ask questions of him. One guy, talk about the game. Hey, guys, we, we may do it sometime before season's over. We're not ready to do it yet. I'm just, hey, he doesn't want to do it, and that's our, that's our plans with him. He's not going to talk to media. It happened. He talked to TVs, and that's the way it happened. But, hey, uh, that's not happening. It ain't happening no more. And, uh, He's off limits like it's always been, guys. There ain't no difference. Yes, sir, Rick. Well, it is different because we did talk to TV. I know, and it just kind of happened. We didn't know what was happening. Rick didn't think about the time. Again, he doesn't want to talk here. I can just tell y'all. And y'all can understand why, okay? Y'all may not like it. I know. Hey, I, I know. What? But remember, he's taking, he's taking a huge beating from everybody. And again, he's not going to win this war in here, okay, guys? He's not going to win it. At some point in this season, some point in this season, We'll figure out when that point is. We'll let you talk to him. Rick, and with about 90 seconds left, Rayburn rose up and was going to shoot, and then he smiled and looked at the bench and smiled and then threw back out. Is that the light bulb maybe going on? Well, hey, I don't know about that. He's not going to turn down any of them shots, but it was for Rayburn. I've Ray never seen him do that. So okay, that was, that was progress, wasn't it? That was progress. That's right. He hadn't seen many shots he hadn't liked, but I thought he played very steady. I thought he played very steady and very smart. Um, nothing stood out bad. And he made some shots, and he made some plays, got to the rim, you know, got to that rim. Um, three for five, three-point line, 16 points, 28 minutes, so it was good stats.